want to make your Ubuntu look like Mac OS, going from this to this, is that what you like? If that's a yes, then let me show you how to make your Ubuntu desktop look like Mac OS, step by step. A word of warning, this tutorial is best followed when you are using GNOME desktop environment. You may follow it with some other desktop environment, but you'll have to be careful with what you're doing. So for this tutorial, you will need to use GNOME extensions. Using GNOME extensions is not difficult, but if you want detailed steps, I have a video here which you can watch or refer to the tutorial in the description. You will also need to use GNOME tweaks tool. Installing GNOME Tweaks is really simple. It just takes one command or you can find it in the software center. With these things, you are set to go and make your Linux desktop look like Mac OS. The first step is installing a Mac OS inspired GTK theme. There are several themes available, but your focus should be a theme that is inspired by Mac OS. You don't have to spend your time looking for that. I have already sorted out some themes which are inspired by the Mac OS look. So these are Mac OS 11, Mac High Sierra, Catalina and Mac Mojave. Mac Big Sur theme is not available yet. So I have chosen Mac Mojave for this video. So all you have to do is click on the download. Here you will find various .tar.xz files. These are basically just different files with some small variant of the same theme. So for me, I'll download both dark and light variant of the Mac Mojave theme. You can try them all. It's really up to you what you want I and mean, what kind of preference you have. So once you have downloaded the GTK theme, extract the downloaded theme and copy its content. Now go to your home directory and press Ctrl H to show hidden folders. Look for a folder named dot themes. Now put the content you copied in this themes folder. With this open GNOME tweaks tool, go to appearance and change the application theme as well as shell theme to Mac OS theme, which is Mac Mojave. So you can choose the dark or you can choose the light variant, whichever you want. If you want to move the Windows control button to the left, you can use GNOME Tweaks tool for that as well. It's up to you. I don't like it. So I haven't done it in this one. I'm going to use Mojave dark for both shell and application because I prefer dark theme variants. We are set with the theme. Now the next step is to change the icons to Mac OS like icons. You can find icons on the same GNOME look website. There are tons of beautiful icon sets available, but you want something that makes your Linux desktop look like Mac OS. For that, I recommend Mac Muse, Mac Mojave and Mojave CT icon sets. You can download one of them or you can download all of them. It's really your choice. The step is familiar to the previous one. Extract the downloaded folders, copy its content. Now go to your home directory. And again, it should be showing the hidden folders. So look for a folder named dot icons. If it doesn't exist, create it. Once you are inside this dot icons folder, paste the content that you had copied earlier. Now go to GNOME Tweaks tool and this time change the icons. You will notice that most of the applications icons have changed and now your Linux system starts to look a bit like Mac OS. But we are not done yet. There's some more tweaking to do. So let's take a bit further by adding a Mac OS style dock in this step. So for this, you have to install dash to dock extension. Just go to the GNOME extensions website and click the toggle button to install it. Your native 
dock will be automatically replaced with dash to dock. It will be a good idea to log out so that the changes take place properly. Once you log in back again, you need to change the location of the dock from the left side to the bottom. For this, right click and then select dash to dock settings. Now change the position of the dock to the bottom. If you want, increase the size of the icons a little bit. I would also advise to enable the intelligent auto hide like macOS. To make it more like macOS, use dynamic opacity for the dock. So the dock looks a bit small, isn't it? Let's add some icons to it. Since your aim is to make Ubuntu look like macOS, I suggest adding more Mac styled icons like calendars, like video players. The more Mac styled icons you add to the dock, the more your desktop will look like macOS. Next step, change the wallpapers to give it the additional Mac touch. Most of the complicated stuff is done. Now it's time to set macOS wallpapers. You can download macOS default wallpapers from the OS wallpapers website. It is up to you what wallpaper you like. I'm using Mojave Day wallpaper, but you can change it to your preference. I guess you already know how to change the background. So you just extract it, right click and set it as your background. The slight unusual stuff is to tackle the lock screen background. The lock screen background option is removed from the settings of Ubuntu 20.04 because it now it uses a blurred version of your desktop wallpaper. If you want to change it to something else, this is optional, but you can change this behavior with lock screen background GNOME extension. Go to the GNOME extension website, install this extension, and then use the extensions application to access its settings and change the lock screen the wallpaper to something of your choice. Okay, so here's what the lock screen looks like now. We're almost there with our macOS customization for the Linux desktop. The next step is to make your Ubuntu look more like Mac by replacing Ubuntu fonts with macOS fonts. The real macOS fonts are not open source, so you cannot use them. However, there are a couple of fonts that resemble the macOS fonts, so you can use Roboto or Source Sense Pro fonts here. Installing fonts is also easy. Just extract the zip folder and copy all the ETF files in it. Now go to the home directory and look for dot fonts. If it doesn't exist, create it again. And once again, you have to go to the magical GNOME tweaks tool, the wonderful GNOME tweaks tool. And here you can change the system fonts as per your choice. I'm going with the Roboto fonts here. So we are done with the customization. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me show you a bonus tip. Let me show you how to get a spotlight kind of application launcher. There are a few application launchers available for Linux desktop, which resembles the spotlight launcher from macOS. I recommend using Albert because it is being actively developed. You can find the installation command on its website, which I have linked in the description. You just need to copy paste the commands in the terminal to install it. It's really straightforward. Once you install Albert, you need to configure it on the first run. On macOS, the shortcut key to launch Spotlight is command plus space. But you can use whatever keys you like. When you first run Albert, you should explicitly give Albert launcher permission access to different kind of programs so that it is able to use them when you use Albert. You can also change Albert's theme to give it a bit more macOS feel. And voila! Now look at it. Can you believe 
This is Ubuntu and not macOS. This actually is a very good example of the customization capability of a Linux desktop. You have the freedom to tweak things as per your liking. That's the power, the freedom that comes with Linux. I hope you succeed in giving your Ubuntu a macOS macOver. If you face any issues, leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out. Oh, by the way, if you want to get the original looks of your Ubuntu back, just need to reverse all the steps, which means change the themes back to the default, change the icons to the default, remove Albert, change the wallpapers, change the fonts and disable the extensions. Now it's feedback time. Which look do you prefer, Ubuntu's or macOS? Leave a comment. I have added all the necessary commands and links in the description so you can check them and use them when you follow this tutorial. And folks, we are trying to reach the 50,000 subscribers mark. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and help us reach the 50,000 subscriber mark. Thank you. Bye-bye.